Johnny Wax. Today it's a uh, 4th of July weekend, Sunday morning. I'm here with Amelia, the camera woman. I am replacing three screens today. My slider screen and my two front door screens. Okay, anyone out there has a uh, big hairy German Shepherd? A nice 90, 90 to 95 pound German Shepherd likes to run through screen doors. Sometimes you gotta replace them. Or likes to jump up with the claws to it. Well, we're replacing them. Today I got some parts. Should be kind of a quick video. Amelia, why don't you come over here, Chicky, to show these guys what we got. All right. First thing we got is a hair dryer. Why? I don't know. I don't have any hair. No, I'll tell you why. All right. First thing is this. Screen. Small insect screen. Because get eaten by those little bugs we call them no see -ems here in Massachusetts I don't know what anyone else calls them maybe the same thing I don't know no see -ems. little black bugs they get through your screen you're watching uh, stranger things and ah, you get child get eaten alive okay so I'm putting this in all of these this is called a spline screen spline okay it's a little black rubber thing that goes around the edges of the frame holds that screen in okay I bought this screen men thing, the pretty lady on there with the hairdryer. Now you know what the hairdryer is for. Okay, this is a quick patch thing. You stick it on there, you hairdry that bad boy on, and it supposedly stays. Aluminum patches for aluminum screen. If you have an old house, kind of like our house, some of the screens are aluminum. So one of my doors is aluminum. You can't really tell from that, but one of them is aluminum screen, the rest are uh, regular screen, nylon or whatever. Okay. I got two of these, I really only need one. But this is the tool that helps jam the screen in there and this rolls it in. I'll show you how to do that. That's why we're here. Flies. This is for the aluminum patches. I'll show you that too. Tape measure, because uh, we might need that. Utility knife. I have this almost all the time on me. And I'll say this every time I have this and every time I show you. Most dangerous tool on our job site. Heavy equipment falls, everything. This is probably the most dangerous thing everybody gets cut. So be very careful using these, okay? Don't let your kids use them. Seriously. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is my aluminum screen, okay? I don't plan on getting any more, but I am going to show you how to replace it, or uh, not replace it, actually patch it, in case you got to uh, patch it, okay? Here's my claw hole from Veda, my Shepard. Okay, little patch like this comes in this little thing that I showed you guys. All right, they do make bigger ones. This just happened to be what they had when I went there. Okay, so if you notice, the edges are curled. I don't know if you can see that. They're kind of curled over on both sides. That's going to help me, okay? Basically, I'm going to go past my hole, just like I did uh, when you were replacing some drywall. You go past the hole. These little, these little uh, legs there, they stick through, okay? What I do, basically, I go underneath. I bend them over with my fingers, okay? I do have pliers, and you can use pliers, okay? But if you got strong man hand fingers like me, you can now use your fingers. All right, so all you got to do is get that next side pushed up, pushed through a little bit, okay? Those little fibers go through. Once they go through, you bend those things over, all right? There's your patch. Done. All right, so this is the screen I just replaced, uh, just did the patch on. Now I'm actually gonna replace this screen because I don't want the aluminum anymore, okay? Because I think it's one of the only ones in the house that's still aluminum. So I'm gonna push this thing out. This was the spline I showed you in the bag. This is what holds the screen in. And once I pull this thing out, I can just yank the screen out all the way around and try to save this. You can reuse it, unless it breaks or whatever. So, not too hard. And it is aluminum, so careful the edges. You can get stabbed a little bit. It's not that sharp, but it'll poke you. Poke you a little. Voila. 
All right, so we got this frame ready to go. We ripped that other screen out. We saved the, sp the spline, we saved it, okay? Now I got my bug screen. So basically what I do, it's wider than my frame, which is awesome. And I, I went past about an inch, inch and a quarter, inch and a half. There's not really a set, but. And now I'm just gonna roll this thing down, okay? I'm gonna roll it all the way to the end. I'm gonna take my utility knife, okay? Now, if you care about what you're cutting on, put something underneath so you don't ruin it. This is my old picnic table, so I'm not really too worried, okay? I'm gonna cut this thing. I'm gonna eyeball, because I have pretty good eyeballs. I'm gonna eyeball about the same distance. I'm gonna overlap, okay, so I don't make it short. All right, so what I'm gonna do is to start this way. See how I cut that? And now I'm just gonna go this way. I'm gonna work my way all the way down. If this was your kitchen table, uh, you'd be cutting into your table and your husband or your wife or whoever's going to murder you. So put something down. I didn't need it because it's my old picnic table and I don't care and it's rotten out. Alright? Alright, so here's my spline. I'm going to start right in the corner. Okay, I'm going to stuff it in that little gap or that little groove. I'm going to use, I got two different tools, but this one is the pokey thing. Poker. This one don't have it, so I'm gonna use the pokey thing. Okay, poking that bad boy in there. So it stays. See that? I kind of crimped it in there. All right. The next thing you do is you use the roller thing, the roller tool, and that rolls this screen in place. Okay, and I push it down in there so that gap's consistent. Okay, it's the same as the other side. And I work it like that all the way down. Okay, keeping some tension on this. You don't want it to be loose. Keep a little bit of tension, work my way all the way down. Just like that, okay? Turn the corner, jam it in with my pokey, pokey thing, my pokey man, pokey mom, whatever. <laughs> all right, jam it in there, roll it with my roller thing. Okay, not too bad so far. All right, so I went all the way around. I'm on my last, the last leg. This is my last leg right here. Rolling into victory. Rolling right into victory. Uh-oh, I got some extra. What do I do? I'll show you what I do. Real gentle, don't cut the screen. Cut that little bit. Done. Don't put that on the screen because you might rip it. Put that away, stuff this in, and you're good to go. All right, so the last part with my knife, come right down here in the corner, okay? I won't show you everything, I'll show you a little bit. Nice and easy, nice and gentle cut this thing. I put this right on the edge and I run my knife, okay? Go nice and slow, don't cut nothing, don't cut any extra. You don't wanna hack up your uh, screen either. And I go nice and easy, I go right around like that. Work my way all the way around. This takes off any excess I got, okay? I don't need it. This one's done. Okay, look around the edges. It's nice and tight. Flip it over. Looks beautiful. Put this right back in my door. Couple weeks. Beta will go right through it. I'll replace. I yell at her and then I'll replace it again. <laughs> Or I'll get smart and I'll put some plexi or something so she can't do that. But anyway, this one's done. I got two more to do. I'm not going to show you those because uh, it's the same exact process, okay? I am going to show you one thing, though. I'm going to show you how to use that other patch with the hair dryer that I used to dry all this hair. drop my gun is my tear <laughs> okay it's hard to see if I don't do that this is my patch okay so basically it's got a little sticky back it says so you peel that off it doesn't feel too sticky to me you peel it off you stick it on over your hole which color doesn't match too good that kind of stinks but it's still working a pinch okay so we're gonna patch it if you don't have time to do all that other crap but you have a hair dryer. I was trying to put this in my pocket and pull it out, but I failed on that one. Okay, turn the hair dryer on, it says. Dry this bad boy. It 
work pretty good. So now, I can stand this thing up. Pretty good, it's good patch, it's holding. That's the outside, this is the inside, all right? Color doesn't look great, but if you were having a party or something and people were coming over and you noticed this and you had the patch thing in the uh, basement, you could do this real quick. But, but, start to finish to re replace that screen that I did, took minutes. So, in reality, honestly, I probably wouldn't recommend these if you had a big tear, I would just put a new screen in, all right? A little more money, because these were like seven bucks for two patches. That was 20 something bucks for the roll, but it literally took me minutes. You saw it, it took me minutes to put that thing in. I'm gonna do two more, put these in and we're done. Thank you, Johnny Works. Hit the like, please subscribe. And more crap like this coming your way. Not really crap, but stuff. Thanks, Amelia. Eh?